So anyway, so we're off to go get some beef is what we're doing right now. And we're in Brooklyn right now. This is, uh, what, what, what this is called, what's this place called? Uh, oh, uh, Della Piechos. Della Piechos, okay. So, yeah, we're going to Della Piechos today. Piechos. Della Piechos. Della Piechos. Della Piechos. So we're headed to Della Piechos today, and uh, they have, well, I personally like their beef the best. Jedi Joy feels that it, it tastes a little lean, I guess. She says frozen, but I don't think it tastes, I don't think it's frozen. You could ask them if it's frozen. Anything is frozen? Sorry, what? Never. Is anything frozen? Never, never frozen. No antibiotics, all straight. Not here. You're in other places, but here? Never. Now, you don't even have a freezer in the store. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're going to get, we ordered already, Nine pounds of the 95% organic grass-fed from Della Piechos, which is over this way. This one, the next door, they got the bread. The next door neighbor is what you don't want to eat. Yeah. Well, you guys could just smell it. It smells yeah. awesome right now. Yeah. Uh, we called it ahead um, for nine pounds of organic beef. We called it I can't beef. hear nothing you're saying. Say that again. We called it ahead for nine pounds. Yes, you're right. I got you. All right, you got it. some burgers in your future. You got one for 31 90 okay? Some people say I'm psychic. Or a meatloaf. Nothing's frozen. Nothing goes into crazy. I don't know. Oh, that. And that's why we hike all the way out here. <laughs> yeah, nice. Alright, they're vacuum sealed and wrapped in our, in our uh, the wax lined paper. You can put these in the fridge, they last about seven days, or you can freeze them immediately, you got about eight months. Yes. Um, do you guys do any grass fed No. All of our chicken is a all corn fed, no GMO, no antibiotics, preservatives, pesticides, ever. You, you know what you're getting, don't worry. We know, we know. Thanks guys. What's up, Mr. Green? Hey. Oh, those rolls look good, huh? Oh, you're gonna have to come out. Yeah, I just wanted to see the little beef brisket in there. I just always feel that they want you to leave in that story. They're feel very like friendly, they love you, but they and want you like, to go. And then you're like, get out. And you're like, okay. So now tell me the vibe you get from those guys about how they feel about beef. Oh, they, they, I think they feel it's very important for it to be fresh because they said never frozen, which is important to us too. So uh, that's good. And they also do very lean. We got 95% from them. So, so that's very important to us. And they package it so it actually can last a long time if you want it to last longer, like they uh, vacuum seal it. Whereas the other guys, if you get it fresh, you really have to eat it that day because they just kind of put it in like little baggies. So this place is great. How do you feel about their organics? I think they're great. Um, at first I was a little bit questionable on the freshness of it because it seemed like more, like the way it's packaged, it, it appears more like the frozen stuff, but I think it's just because they have to like package it that way, so. So the, so the reason why we, we, we only eat uh, grass-fed beef, 100% grass-fed beef, is because grains make the cows obese. It makes them fat. In the 1900s, that was the goal. The goal was to make the cows as fat as possible. The fat made the meat more tender and made it taste better. And that's what people liked. And so the farmers were all trained by the USDA to grade their beef on how much fat content it had in the actual meat. We call it marbling. The technical term is intramuscular fat. And what that means is, is that the animals become so obese that fat has begun to grow inside the muscles. And that's called marbling. And obese is not healthy. So if you're gonna eat a cow that is obese, it's gonna have too much fat content. That's not its natural state. That's a condition state that man made just recently in the last hundred years because they wanted food that tasted better. Like, to come here, you have to get on the A or the C. Then to go home, you have to get on the two or the three. Show the little shorties how you pump them. Not to death. I'm not impressed. I'm not amused. I'm not confused. I'm not to do. I'm a grown man 
business, I am not in school. Put your hand down, youngin', this is not for you. I'm a jail, my deep with the Kanye, yo. Your name on the marquee, your name off the payroll. Style fresh, like I'm still a day old, and it's been like that since the day, yo. On more time than a Rolly or Seiko. Step on deck, your neck, or do what I say so. Get, get up or get, get out, get down and lay low. Let's move. Shout out to my man Kelly Kwame. We on top. Shout out, shout out. Check it out. Check it out. Slim Jedi. Cast a big shadow. Cherokee red to shoot the long arrow. Got more skill, more aim, and more ammo. You can get it all from a big or small barrel like Hail Mary. Come and shoot up the place and make you pull up your face to death. I pull out the ace from the jungles of the Empire State where there ain't no escape. Two, four, seven. Seven, one, eight, and that's like every, every night, night, every day. From the place that I settle and say to the states, I'm collecting my pay. Blast off and I'm back to the cave. Hold it down for my family straight. Represent in a family way. Football, not for amateur play. Ben Ross is an amateur state before the press and the cameras raised. Like a long time man of the way, we want to stand in the street. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Excellence. And that's what it is, you see. 